this is the formula that I believe in when it comes to accelerating results. First and foremost is anything that I'm doing less than ideal, it's because I didn't co-create. When you co-create, you find someone that can support and inspire you, someone that brings you accountability to move beyond scarcity and into creation. I want to get back to a previous yeah. point that you had said, and this is good, we should probably talk more on this, but a previous point you had said is that you love having your family employed and you like utilizing uh, investments for them. So yesterday I talked about how I hire my daughter, my wife is on the payroll, um, and each of them are able to max out the Roth based on a salary being at a number where they're able to do it or doing a backdoor Roth. But then on top of that, we layer in their life insurance premiums because they have the income to be able to afford that. And so I just want to come full circle to, to share, like you get all these advantages, all these write-offs by bringing your family in, but when you have the payroll for them, you have the extra investment opportunities for them, and now we're finding places to put it where it grows tax-free. So the biggest thing, like find the tax-free vehicles, max it out, uh, Roth IRA, Solo K, uh, you know, all these whole life insurance products, PPLI, like these are all tax-free growth vehicles. There is no uh, vacuum where your money can compound in a way that tax-free tax -free growth vehicles do. Yep, good point. And, and look, I think part of hiring my kids is the legacy that I'm providing in that hiring. So my youngest, I filmed the comedy special. He opened and did five minutes. People That's lost awesome. their mind when they had a, had a 13-year-old up on stage telling jokes. And ripping on dad. Yeah, <laughs> making fun of my gray hair, the whole thing. And, you know, and, and so I got to pay him to help me prepare for that and for him to get up and perform. So he got to watch me struggle and start something from scratch instead of seeing like, oh, dad's a successful business owner. It's always been that way. No, 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 I, like, there's ebbs and flows. And so letting your kids know that you got to be resilient and sometimes you feel like the mistakes were, were like a failure and you feel bad and like you struggle and you figure it out. And then my oldest, you know, I'm paying him and he's getting to travel to all these events, meet fascinating entrepreneurs and investors, have different conversations, volunteer at the events. And so it's not just that I'm paying them tax free, but what I'm paying them for is giving them a education that no classroom could provide. Right? Think about all the conversations they get to eavesdrop in and have based upon the people that I get to know and all of the mental capital that they provide. And I tell you, a lot of them will really invest extra time with my kids when they show up. They'll sit down and talk to them because I, I feel like people will pay it forward so well for a younger generation that we'll do stuff for them we would never do for anyone else. That's, that's how I got good at finance. I was young and people liked that I had my little red memo pad and I came and asked 100 questions, although one guy, at the family office was always so annoyed with me. And like, he always had his glasses down here and he'd like look at me and he just hired me. No. He's literally in finance. He just <laughs> hired me to help him create intellectual property. That's so, cool. And he said I was a genius from stage. I don't have it recorded, but there were witnesses in the room. <laughs> That's so, awesome. You, know, you just keep persistent and ask a lot that. of questions. And even if you know, annoy people, you might break through the other side. I think it's amazing. And, and so I don't think it's emphasized enough the importance of investing in yourself, your education. Yeah. But let, let's double up on investing in your peer group. There are ways that you can surround yourself by the right people. If you're really good at it, you can do it for free, you can do it organically, but it, it takes effort, it takes consistency, it takes like a lot of rejection. You can also pay your way into killer groups and killer communities where the criteria to get in is really high. And so instead of being in groups where you gotta like weed through to figure out who's the like-minded person and it's like, oh, this is a room of 100 people but there's only two people that I, I wanna spend time with, you get into rooms where it's like everyone you want to spend time with. And, and so I think that's important. But let's take this a step further is if peer group for us is so important, how important is peer group for our kids? If, the, if there's anything we can impact and influence that has like, you know, longevity that, that's one of the more important things to focus on, it's that. And I love that you are not only paying them, you're not only getting them into your business, you're actually paying them to then make great investments, but you're putting them in the peer groups that you want them to be in. It's brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. If there's anything to copy, that's what you copy. But really think, cool. Yeah, I think of like lifestyle investor and it makes me think of like a way to view money. 
And one of the frameworks that I look at with money is that it's really a measure of three pieces of worth. The first one that most of society is stuck in and what keeps them poor is they think about price and price alone. Price is what you pay, and there's some people that know the price of everything and the value of nothing. I think that's a Jay-Z lyric, so yeah. that's fine. Uh, you know, hey, Jay-Z's um, a billionaire. Jay-Z, you know, billionaire. Brilliant businessman. So, so, I think but, he knows a few things. But price and price alone will never lead to wealth. The second thing is cost. And cost is under, understanding the economic impact of something. Something can have a high price and a low cost because you've tapped in and accessed a level of intelligence, genius, or a network, or, or a relationship. And unfortunately, most people aren't willing to pay the price to get the cost down. I know that my tax team is more expensive now than ever before, but the cost is so much lower because even though the price is higher, they've saved me so much money. They've saved me so much money, so I don't, I, I'm happily able to do it. Now, the third thing is value. Value is the overall feeling of satisfaction, enjoyment, and fulfillment. So when you're looking at, like, does lifestyle investor make sense for you? If you're coming from a place of abundance, you'll say, A, do I find value in it? And you saw the four ROIs in this, right? You saw that there's the education, there's the connections, there's the deal flow, there's so like, think about the value first, then think about the cost. OK, let's say that the price is $55,000. But will you get more than $55,000 of benefit? If you do, the cost is low, even though the price is high. Like, I know you could probably get into some group for free. And so that's a really low price. But what's the cost of bad advice? What's the cost of not learning and having the most expensive tuition called making a mistake when we're isolated and by ourselves because we thought that the way to wealth was we were going to shrink our way there. No one shrinks their way to wealth. Wealth is an expansive game. And look, I write about this uh, shameless plug in this book called Money Unmasked that's coming out October 3rd. But this is the formula that I believe in when it comes to accelerating results. First and foremost is anything that I'm doing less than ideal, it's because I didn't co-create. When you co-create, you find someone that can support and inspire you, someone that brings you accountability to move beyond scarcity and into creation. I did this webinar yesterday. It was a phenomenal webinar. But then I realized, why didn't I call my boy Roberto on the structure of the webinar and spend a few hours with him? And I would have had three times the conversion. But I just forgot my own formula for a minute, and it was a good reminder. The second thing is, when we're looking at an opportunity like this, we have to eliminate. What is it time to let go of in our life that no longer serves us? A habit an escapism, something that re prevents us from the life that we really want. It could be you know, watching too much sports, or a TV series, or it could be you know, just anything that has us say that we're too busy, but it's not productive, and it's not truly fulfilling. Well, I would call it like immediate gratification without long-term satisfaction. Right? Then the third step is to delegate. Who would you have to be when you look at your calendar every day to let go of the things that no longer serve the life that you want to live, and what would you have to do more of? So I always look at it as five and five. What are five things I want to do less of and five things I want to do more of? Every quarter, I'm asking that question, which allows me to write a whole lot more content, be in a lot more spaces like this, and a lot less time in meetings that I don't enjoy. Right. So that five and five in delegation is when we delegate a role, R-O-L-E, to someone versus a task. So you fully offload something so that you can focus on what only you can do. And then the fourth thing is collaboration. Today is about collaboration. I'm here out of collaboration. There's other speakers that are coming up here to collaborate. If you can look at collaboration, especially around the investing world, you're going to get a whole different world of learning due diligence and finding out why someone um, did a deal, what they regretted about the deal. Or you could just go do it yourself and have the pain on your own. So co-create, eliminate, delegate, and collaborate. Collaboration is how all world-class things happen. If it's world class, it's because it was collaborated. If it was isolated, it will be limited in view, in scope, and in quality. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you're enjoying these videos, well, there's good news. More where that came from. So go ahead and click through and watch the next video now.